This clip shows the player who taught me this throw originally. Uh, shout out Ryan Osgar. But I'm mostly going to highlight how Ryan sets this throw up with his body positioning and his footwork. Alright, so the first thing that I want to point out in this clip is just sort of the area that Ryan is going to try to uh, throw into. So obviously it is a uh, forced backhand. Um, so Ryan here is on the flat side of the field. So Ryan is going to try to throw a backhand into the big window in the middle of the field right here. A couple big advantages of being able to hit this inside throw as opposed to the around flick is the inside throw can be thrown more on a rope or can be thrown faster and if thrown accurately it's really really hard to make a play as the defense on the disc or as opposed to if you were to throw an around flick it has to be a little floatier and it gives the defense a little bit more time to make a play as well as it leads your receiver closer to the sideline and as an offense you always want to keep the disc in the middle of the field as much as you can and really avoid those throws to the sideline. Ryan is going into this throw knowing exactly the throw that he wants and the window that he wants to hit and so he's going to do work ahead of time in order to manipulate the mark so that the window is a little bit more open to throw into. You'll notice that as I play this clip, Ryan is going to open up his shoulders to the flick side and even show the disc over to his right shoulder to sort of convince the mark that he's going to throw a flick. And that you'll notice that the mark jumps over to take away that flick throw. And you can see that small little shoulder movement right there got the mark to jump over just a little bit and opened up that inside backhand window even more for Ryan to hit. Next, I wanna talk a little bit about Ryan's footwork here as he goes in to make this throw. So right here, Ryan is going to load up his right foot as he would if he were trying to go throw a flick. But the difference here is that he's going to then explode that weight from that right foot and transfer it into his left foot. And you'll see as he releases this disc, all of his weight is going to be on that left foot. And he's essentially going to pretty much run off of this throw. And what I mean by that is he's going to explode off that right foot onto the left foot. And then right after he releases the disc, he's going to be in a full running motion. So the position that Ryan found right here is sort of what makes this whole throw as effective as it is. Ryan has essentially committed himself to throwing this throw, but by committing it allows him to get an extra foot of lean around the mark, and it gives him the biggest possible window to throw into to lead his receiver. And by getting that extra lean, it sort of allows Ryan to throw behind his mark rather than around or through his mark, if that makes sense. So it's the difference between throwing forward right there and being able to throw into this space, leading his receiver to a much bigger window so that it's impossible to D this throw as the defender. And you'll notice that by putting the Frisbee there, it really gives the receiver all the room in the world to make the catch and doesn't really give any sort of window for the defender to be able to make a play on that disc. All right, so this clip is going to show a very similar throw to the last one we just saw with a small difference in the release point and also the reaction to the mark. All right, so in this clip, sorry, it's a little uh, it's a little more blurry, not as high definition as the last clip, but it should be able to do. Um, but in this clip, I more wanted to go over the release point and sort of a strategy I like to use uh, and take advantage of, especially if my mark is, is playing me a little closer um, as a tight mark, and um, sort of what you can do to take advantage of that um, for this inside backhand throw. So. 
let's get into it. So here I am catching the disc on the flat side with the forced backhand here. And, and as you can see, my mark is playing me pretty normal, straight up, um, isn't too tight. But in the next uh, couple frames, you're gonna see him get a little bit closer to me to try to create some pressure. And on my end, you're going to notice me doing very similar footwork to what we just saw Ryan Osgard do in the last clip. And while I do this footwork, the thing I want you to notice is where I release this disc from and the direction that I step while I'm throwing this throw. So right here, we can see a very similar window that we saw with Ryan Osgar's throw. Noah here is beginning his cut from the middle of the field, which is giving me plenty of room to throw a throw out to space for him to run onto. With these throws on the flat side, it's much easier as a thrower to hit a cutter that is slashing across more horizontally toward the sideline, as opposed to a cut that's a little bit more vertical and behind the mark. Next, you're gonna see me do the similar footwork that Ryan Osgar did, where I'm going to plant off my right foot and then transfer that weight to my left side as I run off that throw. But something that's gonna be a little different in this throw is that I'm going to transfer my weight more vertically past my mark, as opposed to horizontally back to the middle of the field. The advantage that this gives me is it allows me to reach past my mark and release the disc in front of where my mark is. By doing this, I pretty much have a completely free and open lane to place the disc wherever I want to because I no longer have to worry about getting it around the mark's hand or foot. Once again, you can only do this if your mark is really close to you, but if you notice that mark pressuring you and getting really tight to you, Think about trying to get that disc in front of the mark and taking advantage of that tight mark for you to more easily break them. And in this last clip, we're gonna see Claire Chastain, who is arguably the best thrower in the women's division today, use the same sort of move and throw perfectly. We're gonna see Claire do a lot of the same things that I mentioned earlier in this video. And it starts by opening up the shoulders again and showing that frisbee on the flick side so that it gets the mark to bite a little bit and open up that backhand window. What Claire does especially well here is loading up that right foot and using all of that weight to quickly explode to the left side to throw that backhand. And you can see because of this defender right here, that Claire has to get around the mark enough to create a window wide enough to throw this throw where the defender can't get it. This position right here is textbook for how you want to release this throw. Claire obviously still has her left pivot foot down on the ground, so it's not a travel, but she's also already in a running stance to run off this throw. 